or today. It's a little bit different than a lot of the other martial arts you may have seen. And uh, the reason being is a lot of the other martial arts were for exercise and for self-defense. Wing Chun is strictly meant for self-defense or combat purposes. So you're gonna see some of the things we do, it looks a little different. Some of it may even say, wow, how could that be used in martial arts? So first I'm gonna show you some of the basic moves. It's called the first form, which I'm gonna begin right now. And as they do their first form, I'm gonna explain a little bit to you. And then we're gonna show you how it works in combat aspect in a few moments. The first form is like your alphabet. It teaches you all your basic moves that you will need in the system. And even the stance looks kind of funny, but the stance you will see as we go on will actually have some combat aspects to it as well. That being said, you will notice that the movements are very small, very subtle. Because in combat, you can't really do things very big. Things have to be quick, and they have to be effective. So with this, this is not an exercise, but again, a combat system. So after they go through this, I'm going to show you how we start to put two hands into practice, showing the same moves that you're seeing in this first form. And the first form, I will kill it in Chinese, but I will try my best. It's called Silo Dao, and it means little imagination or little idea. So for everybody who speaks Chinese, forgive me for murdering your language. <laughs> And if you notice, the, the positions are very precise, very small. And everything is based upon economy and motion. So every position that they do kind of flows right into the next movement. Because again, we do not want to waste any time when it comes to a combative aspect. One of the reasons I had chosen this art was I am a law enforcement officer for seven years, and I found it very effective, especially in the street. Out a microphone, how two hands start to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from this side here how we start to use our hands to jog for space. And a lot of the aspects that we do here is I don't have to see where my hands are moving. As you can see from here, I can fold, strike, and start to work in different positions. Now again, to show you this position, this is just like in the first form. If this hand was to come up, everything works. Clear, clear, clear. And again, everything starts to move into place. Sometimes we'll work in different hand positions. If I was to move him and he tried to push the hand back, I would have to re-clear. And as, he, as I would go to strike, he may start to block. So again, to keep economy in motion, to let him go where he wanted to go, or let him flow. Again, strike, taking out the footwork. Very small, everything not helpful wrapping. Some other times we make it work, and again, I need to be able to trap him, keep him occupied from both spaces, just to be able to strike again. So again, clearly, very small movements. And just so the other side can see, again, very small movements, very clear. So even if this hand was to try to hit me back, everything is still close by. Thank you. more free-flowing, where it's not so static and it's pre-arranged, we're going to work with if my partner here, Isaiah's been training for Wing Chun for about almost 10 years. So as Isaiah would start to walk in towards me, I would stay with him and then go to move him. But I now can control him. So the more he pushes in at me, the more I can start to work with him. So from the other position, if he was to push in again, and you let him go where he wants to go. So very simple to go from one position to the other. If he pushed in again, it would clear, 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 clear. And everything begins to work more combatively. Now some people say, well, the Wing Chun, where is the footwork? All everybody always says a martial art has to be kicking. And that's true, there is a lot of kicking, there's a lot of footwork, but not necessarily high. So sometimes people say, oh, when you do kicking, why don't you kick to the face? And I say to people, well, why don't you punch somebody in the foot? It doesn't make sense, right? It's too, too much different heights. So we do do a lot of kicking, but as Isaiah would push in, while it was work, everything starts to kick low. 
So all the kicks stay low, all the strikes stay high. Another way to think of it, if Isaiah we were to say more realistic, if he was to push in at me, everything just starts to sweep the leg. Very small, very subtle. So from the other side, if he was to push in, starts to work from there. Sometimes with off the position, in this art, you want to let people go where they want to go. Kind of like Tai Chi. If somebody pushes in at me, push, I want to let him move. So the harder he pushes in, I start to work one way, start to rip back the other. Very simple. Okay? So again, as he pushes in, here goes the first shot. Okay? Sometimes he goes to push in one direction, I go to the strike, he goes to another, and he pushes back, and then we'll go back this way again. And then I control him. The key to things of this art is to let people know where they want to go. So if he pushes one way, I let him go. If he pushes the other way, I let him go. If he pushes just forward, push, I can stay here all day. The harder he pushes, it, it goes back into him. So if he pushes, push, 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 and then I let him go. <laughs> okay? So finally, again, I want to control him. So as he pushes again, I work the center. Work spleen. Okay? I work him from here, I push him, I pull. I work the back of the body. For me, my only danger is if he's here. So I want to be able to get around him. So if he comes, I want to be able to stay from behind. Very simple. But if I cannot get around him, and he pushes in, I can work here. I can turn, I can turn, I can turn. And I can see him to get go where he wants to go. Okay? So it's a very nice art, it's very economical. But because we only have such a short time to explain it, I wanted you to understand how everything works in a flow, in a combat sense. This art, again, as we all have shown, is an old art because it takes all of the Chinese martial arts for thousands of years and puts it together into an art that only began about 400 years ago. For one purpose, one person only, purpose only. Not for exercise, but how to defend yourself in combat. Thank you very much.